Hey YouTube, uh, I'm back with another video, this time showing you guys how to activate FaceTime in the Middle East. Uh, a lot of people don't know that phones sold in the Middle East actually do not have FaceTime on them, they don't have the app. So when you try to search for it, you get nothing, and even if you look in the system preferences, there isn't even a preference pane for FaceTime. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to activate FaceTime on your phone that you bought from the Middle East. And of course, you'll need to have your phone jailbroken to do this, which you can use the new Pongu jailbreak for. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have iFile installed, which is a package you can find on Cydia and install. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need to do is go into Cydia, click on Sources, add a new source uh, called Cydia.MyArabicSource.com. Uh, so add that source. Okay, so after the source is installed, you're going to click on it, click on all packages, look for this tweak called Com Center Patch for iOS 7 and install it. Alright, so once it finishes installing, just click return to Cydia, close Cydia, open iFile, click the home button at the bottom of iFile, click on library, uh, scroll down and click on carrier bundle. .bundle. Uh, then click on the second file carrier. .bundle. B list click on property list viewer uh, click on the plus sign at the bottom right I'll change the type to boolean and type in the name as allows VOIP and it's case sensitive so make sure you copy it exactly the same way and once you're done typing it in click create uh, turn the switch that says allows VOIP at the top turn that on click done uh, exit I file go back exit I file and then turn off your phone and restart it turn it back on so after your phone boots up again just unlock it uh, get back into Cydia go into the same source that we installed previously uh, click on all packages and look for this package called FaceTime iOS 7 uh, click on it install it and after it's done installing you should see this reboot device button click on that so now when your phone boots up you'll notice you now have the FaceTime app as well as the preference pane in the settings but uh, not so fast you have gotta reboot it one more time because if you don't you will get activation errors. And now you can enjoy using FaceTime. Thank you so much for watching the video you guys, uh, if that helps you out please give it a like, it helps me out a lot and uh, share the video with your friends so you can FaceTime with all your friends in uh, the Middle East and uh, one more complication that I wanted to mention is that even though the fa FaceTime works, you have the app, it's activated, it may not work because certain uh, service providers, certain internet service providers block it so you have to use a VPN for that but most of them don't at least in the UAE uh, do does not block it but Eddie Salat does so if you're on Eddie Salat Wi-Fi just uh, remember that and uh, check out my previous video which was a preview of uh, Battlefield Hardline's beta and uh, thanks for watching